All right, guys, looks like it's finally going down. Electrical work going in. Let me update you in a second. All right, guys, it's going down. Finally, the build series is starting, the new house. Electrical work is going in right now. The guys are upstairs. And just straight up, whose else garage looks this <laughs> this crappy? Um, I don't want to give too much away over there, but we're going to hop inside. I'm going to let you guys know what's going on in there and what we're planning. All right, guys, let's go ahead and show you this panel real quick. Uh, hopefully, you guys can hear me with the lawnmower in the back. But this is a standard panel, as you will notice. You will see that there are some free spots down at the bottom right. And that kind of gives you an idea of if you can or cannot upgrade. If you can't, you might be able to do a sub panel and then be able to, to get it that way. But we're doing a very um, a extravagant, very involved uh, way of doing this. Most people just do dedicated 20 amp circuits and then call it a day. Um, but I'm not most people. So we're doing uh, an individual circuit 240 for the front stage, individual 240 for the subs, and one mystery circuit that will be named later on one dedicated 20 amp circuit for the rack, but this was done by Crown Electric. Highly recommend those guys. This is the second job that they've done for me and they will go anywhere in Texas. They are great guys, highly recommend them. But let's go ahead and show you this stuff over here. We'll show you what they've done so far. Okay guys, so let's just go ahead and pop up here real quick. This is gonna be the attic. Uh, the way this process happens, it's pretty simple. You have an origin, which is gonna right now be the plugs, the outlets on the walls, and then you also have your destination. Looks like the guys already have the yellow Romex out. This is the standard stuff you're gonna be using for, it's 12 gauge, you're gonna be using it for 20 amp, as well as any 240 amp circuits. Uh, like I was talking about, I'm putting in those 240 amp circuits. The wall you're looking at right now is my guest room. And then this has to go all the way to the back of the house to the right corner, and that's where the theater is. So it's a pretty simple installation. You basically just run the line through the walls, you know, or up and over the attic, and then you install them with a, uh, a plug that's gonna be the dedicated 240 20 amp plug. But origin destination, pretty simple. That's where the panel is over on the other side of the house. But let's check in with the guys upstairs to see what's going on. Okay, so it looks like the guys are at work. Um, be realistic whenever you're taking on a project like this. Realistically, you are gonna have to do some drywall repair. So just make sure that that is in a realistic expectation that you have. No one has x-ray vision, so this is an exterior wall. We did run into a water line. No one nicked it, so that's, that's a great thing. These guys are professionals, but let's go ahead and check back in in just a second. All right, guys, so let's show you what's going on up here. This is the top of the attic, right? Let me just boop, pop you down here. This is the attic space. Um, this is pretty typical. This is a three car garage, but usually you will have some uh, something like this. If you don't, then you know, may maybe it might be a little more difficult for you to do this, but I, I, I will not claim that I did any of this work. This is done by Crown Electric out here in Houston. They were you know, ready for hire anywhere in your needs in, in Texas, so I'll leave their information down in the description. This is the second house that they've done for me. Highly recommend those guys, great work. But looks like they already got to work on putting the lines in. Over there, you will see the yellow. Right, that's gonna be the yellow Romex. We have one, two, three, and then another one over there going to the top. So we have three on the left side, one on the right side. And as you can see, let me see if I can pan over here. It goes all the way up to the top. And then, oh, whoa, it gets covered around up there. So they kind of just swung these things over there so that I can get my full um, circuits. So again, if, if you guys wanna do this yourselves, <laughs> Good luck, but this is uh, some 240 um, circuits going in for the subwoofers as well as the black swans that I have planned in the room. And then I think that little guy, this, this little guy over here is just my little dedicated 20 amp, but it all uses the same Romex. All right, guys, let's go ahead and show you this. Hopefully it's in focus. So here's your panel, right? The only thing I need to do is just finish off the labeling over here. So it looks like we have one, two, three dedicated um, 240, 220 circuits. Um, and then we have another dedicated uh, home theater circuit down here for 20 amps. So all of these are gonna use the same Romex. If you guys are wiring these things, um, it's going to be a little bit different than your standard wiring. This one's gonna be the same, right? You're just gonna be using a fatter Romex for the, the, the dedicated 20 amp. But with these, um, you, your ground's gonna be universal, right? So the, uh, the multicolored one is gonna be your ground. So you're gonna be using that for one, two, three. 
and then you're gonna use the other ones interchangeably. Just make sure that the interchangeable ones are, you know, going to your plugs as well. But that's it. I mean, that's, <laughs> I'm, I'm making it seem very simple. I didn't do any of this stuff. You know, the, the, the extent of my work is just labeling this over here, which I still haven't finished. But you know, the big thing is gonna be inside. So let me go ahead and show you guys that right now. All right, I don't wanna hear nothing from no one about how dirty this place is, because I'm sure that everyone has gone through something similar in how <laughs> they're doing their home theaters and everything just looks kind of in shambles for a little bit. So this door was just put in. Let me show you guys the room as it is. This door was just put in and uh, you guys will see why in just a second, but just to show you a quick update, up here in the front, you will see the circuits that were put in. So we have one, two, three. This one over here was already existing. So all of those will power the front stage. So left, center, and right. The center is in the box still, so you guys will get an unboxing and overview of that shortly. Um, but I needed these things up so that we could do some, uh, you know, more critical measurements whenever we did the frame out. And then over here, so that's one circuit, right? So all this stuff over here is one circuit, except for that little guy. That one is uh, just standard 120. The rest of these are 240. Over here, I don't think you could see it, so let me go to the other side. But copy and paste over on this side, we have same circuit, right? Connected to here. So again, another 240 circuit going here. It's on the same one. So both the subs, both the 21 inch subs will be on the same circuit. And then last one, so that's two, right? The third one's downstairs. You guys won't, you guys won't know about that one just yet. I'll show you guys in that probably a little bit later. They're, they're, it's, it's crazy. You, you guys will understand whenever, uh, whenever all this thing comes out. But we have the last one, the black covered one back there. Boop, right there. That one is my dedicated 20 amp circuit, and that's supposed to be for the rack. As you can see, I put the rack in here already. Um, I think the rack's too small, as well as I think the position's off. So whenever I contracted the guys to come down here, I was thinking, you know, put the rack back there, no big deal. But you guys are looking at this on camera. It doesn't look big. I'm, I'm looking at the screen right now. This doesn't look big at all. <laughs> Even though this is an 18 and a half by 13 by nine foot tall room, right? This is just a little, something a little different, a little, a little un, un, unorthodox, good God, unorthodox uh, type of a room. So again, like I was talking about, this will be handled, that'll be drywall, this will be front, fronted off and looked uh, nice and presentable. We'll paint everything looking nice and then we'll take care of this stuff back here as well. But that kind of seems like it's gonna be a problem because even if I grow that rack a little bit taller with the taller rack, it's just not gonna look right in here. I want it to be a nice, easy aesthetic aesthetically pleasing room and not too jumbled. So we're probably gonna have to put the rack in here and this wall. This is a closet, so that should work out pretty well there. But uh, good God, I think that's it guys. So I, I think that's gonna be in the end of this episode. If you guys wanna keep following along with this build series, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll actually create a playlist once this thing gets off, off the ground and up and running. As you can see, we have boxes here, all this stuff. We have another subwoofer still in the box. We have another one of these still in these two boxes. So uh, we, we will get all that stuff taken care of very shortly. So very exciting, new, cool <laughs> home theater. I can't wait to do it. Can't wait to show you guys. I'm, you guys probably hear it. I'm smiling right now. I've just been so excited. This has been a long time coming and I can't wait to show it with you guys. Uh, that's all I got. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.